Let's now see solved question number one in Ethernet. Let's dive into the question now. Here is the question. In an Ethernet local area network, which one of the following statements is true? And this question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2016. And options are given. Option A. A station stops to sense the channel once it starts transmitting a frame. Option B. The purpose of jamming signal is to pad the frames that are smaller than the minimum frame size. Option C. A station continues to transmit the packet even after the collision is detected. And Option D. The exponential back off mechanism reduces the probability of collision on retransmissions. If you are directly here without watching my previous lecture titled Ethernet Transmitter Algorithm, I request you to please watch it first so that you yourself can answer this question. If you had already watched my lecture, I hope you will be able to answer this. Anyway, we will see the answer for this. Let's take option A. A station stops to sense the channel once it starts transmitting a frame. Option A is false. Why? Because any station will not stop sensing the channel once it starts transmitting a frame. So the job of Ethernet transmitter algorithm itself is sensing the channel always in order to send the data. Let's now check option B. The purpose of jamming signal is to pad the frames that are smaller than the minimum frame size. Obviously, option B is also false because this is not the purpose of jamming signal. Jamming signal is to inform all other stations about the collision that has occurred and further transmission is stopped. Now let's see option C. A station continues to transmit the packet even after collision is detected. As far as option C is concerned, station sends jamming signal if collision is detected. We know station will not continue transmitting the packet if the collision is detected. A jamming signal is sent in order to notify other stations that a collision has occurred. So option C is also false. And coming to the last option that is option D, the exponential back of mechanism reduces the probability of collision on retransmission. Option D is the right answer. We have already seen that the exponential back of strategy reduces the possibility of collision on retransmission. Let's recollect what is exponential back off. Once collision has happened, it will not forward the frame just like that. It will wait for a certain period of time. And even after that time also, if the channel is busy, it doubles the waiting time. And even after that waiting time also, if the station is busy, it doubles the waiting time. And this strategy is the exponential back off mechanism, which is used for reducing the probability of collision. And that's it guys. I hope you liked the lecture and thank you for watching.